Hello, Anya Community High School. My name is Caleb Kwasaborski, and welcome back to your weekly weather forecast number three. We'll hop right in to the week of September 9th, 2024, and we start Monday with a varsity girls volleyball game and a varsity boys soccer game. For that, we have a high of low 70s and a low of high 40s. Very nice, comfortable fall weather to begin our week. Tuesday, flag football versus Grays Lake North here at Antioch once again. A high of mid 70s and a low of low 50s. Once again, keeping that fall temperature, but it gets just a little bit warmer. Wednesday, field hockey versus Glenbard West. We have a high of low 70s and a low of high 50s. Once again, staying in the nice comfortable fall range. And as you're going to see for the rest of the week, we kind of stay in that most comfortable fall range. Thursday, varsity girls volleyball and varsity boys soccer. For that, a high of high 70s and a low of, high, of low 60s. That will be probably the hottest day overall. That or Friday, which is Friday Night Lights versus Round Lake. For that, a high of high 70s and a low of high 60s. Saturday, there's so many varsity invitational sports events going on that I cannot put them all down. If you go on the Annex Equate Athletic Calendar, you will then see all the different sports going on. Um, for that, we have a high of mid 70s and a low of low 60s. Once again, very comfortable weather. Sunday, a high of mid 70s and a low of low 60s. However, for this, there's one thing I want to add is that it may be almost 10 degrees hotter for almost all of these days because I take the averages of all my uh, models that forecast temperature and they've been changing, not enough for me to actually change it and put it on this, but the forecast is showing that it actually gets hotter than this. So we might see 80s, we might even see the one day that has a heat index of 90. And to show this is the temperature probability outlook for that, we're around average temperature even though it will be getting warmer. On the one that shows the 8 to 14 day, it shows that we actually are far above average. And for this, the precipitation outlook, very below average. Uh, September um, has the most sunshine, as in there's the least amount of clouds in this entire month. And that also goes along with the rain. We do not have much rain going on. And for this, we have the Atlantic and Pacific hurricane seasons going on. And we're going to start with, with the Atlantic. Over here, we have five separate disturbances, three in what we call the Central Development Area, the CDO. And then we have the one in the Gulf of Mexico and the one that's just off of the Carolina coast. Um, all these are less than 40% chance of formation, so they're not much to worry about. However, if they do form, we've had very abnormal sea temperatures, um, very high abnormal. So it's not cold, very high. So if a storm were to form, it will have the environment ready to burst and boom. So that's something to keep an eye out. That's more of the now casting, which we forecast a day or two in advance instead of a week in advance. I know some models have been showing later on we actually get some activity in the CDO, the Central Development Region, but obviously that's a model which is so far away which is not to be trusted just yet. It's something to keep an eye out though. Going on for the Pacific, um, there's no specific point of interest here. However, this area that's the most conductive area for any tropical weather. However, once again, with the trend of the yellows, that's less than 40%, so you're not going to see much coming out of it. Once again, if it does, then there's another whole other issue. I just said it's only water for I'm going to give you a tropical storm, maybe a Cat 1 hurricane, nothing more than that. And that ends your weekly weather forecast number three.